everyone, welcome back to my channel. As you guys have seen by the title of today's video, today I am showing you my makeup collection as a makeup artist because I am actually a mobile makeup artist in my local area so that means I do have to pack a lot of makeup and I'm basically going to show you what I store my makeup in and all of my makeup equipment and cleaning products because people have been so interested and really want to know how I do it all pretty much. So today is the day where you guys are going to be able to find out how I basically pack and store all my makeup in because I do have a lot of makeup because when you are a mobile makeup artist or just a makeup artist in general you do need a lot of makeup and this is not even half of the makeup guys like I do have a big makeup collection however it's very convenient for the industry I am in but anyway but before we get into this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up it would be nice to get to a like goal of 30 likes on this video also leave a comment and subscribe and without further ado let's get on with the video just a bit of a backstory before I actually show you all of my products basically I did a makeup course three years ago now and I'm fully qualified in makeup and then I also did two beauty therapy courses so I'm fully qualified in everything that I'm doing. I will be actually moving into a room in a salon in my area so it's very exciting so I'm kind of building up my kit as much as I can and kind of preparing myself for the move as well. So firstly I am going to show you what I used to store my makeup in and how I pack it all and what kind of products I use as a makeup artist because when you are a makeup artist you need a wide range of shades and colours because the people aren't always going to be the same skin colour or they won't always want a brown kind of basic eye. Some people want a very dramatic eye colours and everything like that so starting off i actually store all of my makeup it's going to be so heavy i know it is i actually store my makeup in oh my god this a makeup carry case from home bargains i actually got this for 20 pounds that is basically for just going around mobile and doing people's makeup however i think i am actually going to have to maybe buy myself a bigger one because i do have a lot of makeup and as i am expanding my kit before moving into the room it's getting too small for all the makeup so this is 20 pounds uh, what a good bargain home bargains do actually have some really good beauty bits in there so definitely have a look because it's very cheap very affordable very good quality i have been uh, using this for around oh my god it's so heavy for around the two or three months now and it's great it's so sturdy it comes with a set of keys to lock it as well so if i ever want to leave it in the salon at least i could lock it up and do it to be safe and no one could really get into it um so yeah so now i am going to show you what is in this makeup case because i'm pretty sure people are very eager and excited to see so here is my lovely makeup case it's just like a basic kind of silver one but it does the job so first let's open it up it does open really easily and it also has like a little handle to carry it with. If I open it up, here are all of my eye products. So if I turn this round to make it easy to show you all, I basically have all of my eye products. A pretty self-explanatory, it's basically like eyebrows, eyeliner, mascara, eye bases, eye pigments, all that kind of jazz. So firstly for eyebrows i do have a range of eyebrow products so i do have three different brands of eyebrow pomade however i will say my most favorite eyebrow pomade is the morphe one i use this on myself it's in the shade a latte i do also have a revolution pro one which isn't too far behind however morphe does win the game with that one so i basically have like a, a blonde one a brown one and like a dark brown so that's like is standard kind of hair colours that people have. Double stack mascara, a lot of eyelash glues. I do have the these ones here, which basically have like a an applicator, which can be better for if eyelashes aren't sticking. So 
I do have a white one and a black one and then I just have the standard Duo Lash Glue which is a fave of mine, it's very reliable, it's a good glue, it does the job you know. And then I also do have an eyebrow pencil, this is by Ardell, it's a good brand for eyebrow products and it's just in a brown shade. And then I do have a lot of P. Louise bases because I swear by these now. I started off with a couple of them in Rumour 0 and 0 0.5 however I have had to expand my shade range because not everybody is in the light shade for eye bases so I just have seven of these here I think or maybe six I think I've got oh yeah seven so I basically got the shades ranging from zero to five so that means I do have a lot of different shades to match uh, people's skin tones and then I also have you know, the winter bases as well which are uh, green purple blue and pink and uh, they're good for uh, colorful eye looks and uh, they are really pretty colors as well I love them so much and then I just have an eyebrow gel by Morphe as well always good to set the brows in place besides that side of the eyes and then Welcome to my favourite part pretty much. Here are all of my eye pigments, eyeliners and glitters. So, I don't know where to start because this is my favourite part. But, I do have a lot of peaches and cream pigments because I love these so much. I feel as if they work best for me. I also do have a MAC one as well which is actually really good. I would love to try some more MAC ones because they last a long time. As, as well as these ones as well but... You get more product in these ones. However, I just have like a lot of shades in here. The most favourite shade to use on clients is actually Gatsby. It's such a lovely colour. It's like a goldy champagne colour. And then the eyeliner I use is the Maybelline one. It's the Lasting Drama Gel Eyeliner. It's so good. It doesn't smudge or anything, so that's a good thing. The peaches and cream pigment drops for when I want to mix it with the eye pigments to kind of make it more metallic -y. then have my glitter glues a Too Faced and a NYX one and I also have a peach and cream one under there as well and then here I actually have some paint glow like how would I describe these? this is basically chunky glitter in an, a gel pretty much so you basically like apply these to the face and they will stay on you don't you really need like any glue to apply these with because like they're already in a gel form and these are good for like festivals or kids parties or something where they want a bit of glitter on the face and I actually bought these from a beauty event they're very good for parties or fancy dress or something now the next up I will be moving on to the face ones this is like another another level below pretty much so I'm just going to show you now how it opens up so this side opens up like this and the other side opens up like that. How much makeup does a girl need? Honestly, I am so excited. The camera isn't really picking up the light as well. However, if we move to foundations over here, I actually use the Maybelline Superstay foundations. These foundations are incredible. The coverage, everything about them, it makes my client's skin they look so flawless. I actually use these foundations on myself and I do have a lot of these foundations. I have like a lot of tan ones, fair skin ones and very dark skin ones. Um, so you obviously need a lot of different foundations when you are a makeup artist. And then in moving on to the other side, it's like all my lip products. It looks a bit of a mess because I was taking the thumbnail before and some of the makeup bits kind of fell over and stuff. The peaches and cream glosses, I swear by these. The first one is in suede, it's like a lovely pinky nude colour, it's gorgeous. I then have a Rusted, which I've never used before, which I'm quite excited to use. I also have Melrose, which is like a nude kind of colour, they're very pretty. I then have Fudge, which is like a dark nude, gorgeous. And then finally my favourite, which is Honey. Honestly, these glosses are so super pigmented, it's actually unbelievable. And they are long lasting on the lips as well and they're very thick and blend easily. Next up I do have four different Morphe lipsticks because Morphe do amazing makeup. They're very reasonably priced however very affordable. So first off I have a pinky nudie one. Gorgeous. What shade is this? 
Yeah, this one is in the shade Rebound. So lovely. Yeah, the packaging is so sleek as well. I love it so much. I then have this one which is like a gorgeous nude colour again. And this is in Tempt. Then I have a lover, a red one. I love a red lip. And then we also have Independent, which is more of like a darker red. It's oh, it's so classy. I love a red lip. Do have like a Mac one in Men Love Mystery? It's a purple colour. I've had this for years. It's it, it's good when people want a purple lip, which is is rare, but it's still handy to have. And Mac lipsticks are pretty good. I then have some Primark. Lipsticks because believe it or not Primark ones are really good. This is the perfect nude colour. It's so gorgeous And then I also have this pinky one and these are in the shade if they even have a shade Let's have a look Oh, yeah If Thrill Seeker is the nude one and the Naked Flame is the pink one yeah, They're really they're actually really creamy these I, I love these so much and yeah, these are definitely a tube for the MAC lipsticks 100% another lipstick of mine is this gorgeous Anastasia one it's called Dead Roses it's more of like a a purpley kind of pinky colour it's gorgeous also can we appreciate the packaging how pretty is that again Anastasia lipsticks are so good and I actually got some TK Maxx it's one of a really good buy I love it then I also have a liquid a lipstick when people want a bit of like a pinky colour and this is good for wearing underneath the peaches and cream glosses because it adds a bit more of like a base so nice and then onto lip liners I do have a lot of lip liners I'm not gonna lie to you guys a lot of different brands however I do have a lot of Primark ones because they are amazing I do have some Doll Beauty ones some peaches and cream ones and some Morphe ones and a, a Rimmel one yeah a nice variation of, of brands, a lot of different shades in there like pinks, nudes, purples, reds, yeah, every colour of the rainbow you could ever really need. And now moving on to the, the final part of my makeup storage area, I basically have to stuff in all of the eyeshadow palettes I use on clients because there is no like all the space to store them so a beauty of mine I love using on my clients is the Be Perfect Carnival palette. It's stunning. It's a very multicoloured, but it, it's perfect for people who want a bit of colour on their eyes. Yes, I'm pretty sure many people have already seen this palette before. It's got a lot of colours in there. You know, it's got the rainbow, and it's a really good palette. I highly recommend if you are a makeup artist to get this because it's amazing. So that's that palette. Then have. A Morphe 35O, I think it's called, yes, and this is like more of like the smoky kind of orangey palette. As you can tell, it's one of my oldest palettes. It it does need a bit of a clean. I do tend to clean my palettes very often, however, I've obviously not cleaned this one in a while, so it's quite embarrassing. But that's a good good one as well. Another favourite of mine is the 35XO. It's a lovely Valentine's Day palette. I actually have been using this for proms because it's such a gorgeous palette. As you can tell, yeah, this shade and yeah, that shade have been used the most, but yeah, it's so lovely. A lot of lighter colours in there, but also so, some darker colours. A lovely balance of shades. The, the, the final palette that I love is the 35G Bronze Gold. Yeah, this is also very pretty. I love this palette so much. It's stunning. It's more shimmery, but absolutely stunning. Now... Yeah, this is where it's a bit more messy because I don't always have the space to kind of make it neat and tidy. However, concealers, the concealers I use on clients, I use yeah, the Revolution concealers. I am aware I don't have a lot of shades in these and I am expanding my kind of concealer kit. But I've got a shade C1 up to C4. I will obviously have to get some darker shades because not everybody is fair skinned as well. But... These Conceal and Hydrate ones are my favourite. So blendable, better than the like original Revolution ones. The 100%, I love them. I also use the Revolution powders for clients as well because it's just like a lovely matte powder and 
it set to make up perfectly over I do have like a few other ones just in case um, a Rimmel MUA and a clear one as well I put just those ones there because they're very good a dandelion blush this blusher is so pretty it's by benefit it's a lovely pinky colour it smells amazing as well so that is that one then Urban Decay Bronzer I actually lost this for a while and it turns out it was hiding in one of the corners of my uh, makeup case but here it is it's like a, a very dark a deep uh, bronzer it's good for dark skinned people but yes I love the packaging as well then Doll Beauty highlighters are an uh, essential for your kit I don't care what people say they are beautiful so I have uh, like a diamond uh, which is like a light colour I actually use this on myself if I have my own but this is used for clients and then I actually have the other one which I don't, I don't actually know what this one's called Shine Bright so this is like a darker colour as you can tell yeah, the light and the dark shades there and oh my god they are so glowy and plus the packaging is absolutely gorgeous like can we take a moment how amazing also please excuse my ugly nails yes I need to put some nails on <laughs> literally I also have another bronzer which is like a Revolution Pro one the Revolution Pro makeup is actually really good quality I highly recommend and this is just the sculpting bronzer in the lighter shade I love this one so much and the packaging is so pretty but then I just have like a foundation mixer this is used for making foundations darker I've only used this a few times however personally I think it can make foundations have a bit more of a green undertone uh, when I use this so I tend to just mix foundations instead if this is by makeup obsession and it's still handy to have just in case because you never know when someone it could it'd be very dark skinned you know so it is handy to have I then also have a Too Faced peachy primer for my clients I love this primer a lot it smells like peaches and it's gorgeous and Too Faced makeup is cruelty free which is good so yeah I love it so much I then also have your five points fun fact I actually got this in my college kit however this shade here I actually use a cream contour it's so good it's so creamy it blends so well highly recommend um, and it's good for people who want to have a, like a bit more contour kind of bronze kind of makeup look so that's what I use on them I then also have this Nivea Men the Porsche of Balm it's actually really good for a primer and I highly recommend if you've not tried it to try it it looks like I've got an eyelash on the packaging there but yeah it's really good and I think it's only like three pounds, so it's definitely a good a dupe for a lot of primers. Then I also have another of my foundations. However, it does not fit in the foundation area. But this one has actually run out, I think. So I'm definitely gonna have to make an order. I'm gonna be go into Superdrug and have a look for some more shades because I will need to get some more shades in these 100 percent. And then underneath here I actually do have a, a cream blush by Peaches and Cream. This is just in the shade Amaretto. It's so cute and tiny but I love it. It's actually adorable. I then also have a Revolution blush palette which is good because it just have a lot of variation of shades in here. Like the darker colours, peachier colours and I can use this on any kind of shade range. It's really good. Um, for people who, who like a bit of blush pretty much then eyelashes I'm just going to pick them up and show you what kind of brands I use so I use a lot of Doll Beauty lashes the Doll Beauty lashes are really lovely here are some of my favourites actually Darling, Jerry, Taylor and we have Taylor again but yeah I, I love Doll Beauty I also love using Tatty lashes as well gorgeous lashes and then the uh, peaches and cream are, are actually really good for more weddings or christenings people who are maybe a, a bit older but a lot of brides actually like these eyelashes because uh, they're very natural but still they look like you've got eyelashes on as well so here is the whole kind of makeup kit now that you guys have seen my massive makeup collection 
for I use on my clients is and now time to show you what I pack for beauty blenders, setting sprays and the makeup brush cleaners because these are very important to have. The makeup brush cleaners especially because if I have a busy day with clients all day and I am moving between clients houses I obviously have to clean my brushes in between. The makeup artist bag this is actually used for makeup brushes however I use this for all my kind of bottles and, and beauty blenders and this is actually from Home Bargains for £5.99 such a good price and it's very portable and easy to carry and you can also adjust the shoulder strap as well so if I open this beauty up the zips work very well I will actually start off with all of the setting sprays I I actually use for my clients. So firstly I do have this Candy Cosmetics setting spray. This is an illuminating setting spray and this is used when clients want a kind of more glowy kind of glittery face to fit, like to basically set the whole makeup with. Some clients really like this however some other clients love a matte base and this is when I use my Revolution a Base Fix matte the base spray. I actually prefer using this for myself these days because it doesn't make your face look glittery, it's really nice, I highly recommend it. And then I also have an old spray bottle filled up with water because when I want to dampen the beauty blenders to blend the foundation in with, I need access to water and a lot of the time I don't have any access so that's why I fill this up with water. It is a pretty genius idea to be honest if I do say so myself and it's very handy and all I have to do is really fill it up and it likes me assorted with damping on beauty blenders for the day and then speaking of beauty blenders I do pack a few beauty blenders because I won't always have time to clean them so what I usually do is say I have two or three clients for the day I'll pack three separate beauty blenders and that means I won't have to worry about cleaning them and drying them either because I I do pack my beauty blender I saw clean cleanser however cleaning beauty blenders is a lot harder compared to cleaning your brushes that is why I like to pack the amount of beauty blenders I use for how many clients I have a day it makes your life so much more easier and I do have some of your techniques ones yeah, they're really good and the ISO clean sponge cleaner is really easy to use all you need is some lukewarm water and the, the cleanser and it works a dream and then finally ISO clean a spray brush cleanser yeah, this is an express way of cleaning makeup brushes it still kills all the it still kills all of the bacteria and it also has aloe vera in it which does make your brushes nice and soft like brand new I've been using ISO clean for way over a year now and it's so good I do actually use this as a way as cleaning like all my personal makeup brushes as well because it does kill all the bacteria it it cleans your makeup brushes fully and I do have the solution as well which is more deep cleansing for if I want to give them a deeper clean as well but this is a really good for using for my clients makeup brushes because it it, it means it only takes me five to ten minutes to clean all the brushes it's pretty easy to use you know so that is what I pack for all my cleansers I also have a little ISO clean a petri dish as well it's just because it's good for if I want to dip them in that it keeps falling off and running away though the next up I am going to show you the other bits of equipment and makeup brushes and whatever else I may need to use on my clients or maybe clean up after myself so I do have this big kind of carrier bag full of stuff so what I do is I have attached a hand sanitizer it's one handle and then I have actually attached a, a small bin bag on the other handle I use the small bin bag as a bin for the day I will have to change it because it is pretty full now however this hand sanitizer comes in handy all the time. It's good for when you maybe have a bit of foundation on your hands, a quick way of cleaning your hands. It's so handy. So that is what I have in there. Then, they have my makeup brushes as well. 
I actually keep them in the, this makeup artist strap holder thing. I actually got this as part of my college kit three years ago now. Can you believe it? I started college three years ago. Like, where has the time actually gone? It's insane. And this is just all black. And what you do is, you just tie this around your waist. It's it's so good. So what kind of brand of makeup brushes I use is Spectrum, Peaches and Cream, um, and Real Techniques. But that's like the brands I use. I clean them all with ISO Clean, obviously, and they're really good quality the brushes actually so I highly recommend a peach and cream and spectrum brushes and and morphe are actually really good as well but here they are all cleaned all ready to use on my clients again so that is all of the brushes I use and love and then I actually have a mini kind of Jeffree Star yeah, what would you call this a little kind of makeup bag I don't use it as a makeup bag obviously but what I store in here is disposable a lip, the brushes, I, I store for these kind of puffy things in case I ever need them. I also have a mascara ones which I actually need to top up. I also have a pair of scissors. I also have tweezers just in case. And I also have uh, my lip liner and eyeliner sharpener because this is what you need as a makeup artist. Um, it's a, a, a very handy again. It's, it's, what, it's a good size. For what I need in there, perfect size, and then also I obviously have to pack my Fabulosa disinfectant wipes. These are some of the best wipes I've used. I've had these for ages, and they don't even dry out. They smell amazing. I do have the rhubarb the ones, and they are amazing. And speaking of wipes, I do have some baby wipes in case the client. It's maybe like allergic to makeup wipes which I've also packed as well. You need a lot of wipes, honestly, guys. But yeah, it, it's always handy to have uh, some sort of a cleanser or makeup wipes or just wipes in general. I then also have a flash kind of all purpose disinfectant spray. It's always handy to have again. I also have a big roll of kitchen roll. It, it's good for cleaning up with. I also have a glanimizer like cleansing water. Some cotton wool pads. <laughs> So what else do I have in here? A little mixing tray I use for mixing foundations with. Some cotton buds, face masks, and that is pretty much it. And some scissors as well if you need a good big pair of scissors with you. Oh yeah, and I actually have my Lumi light for if the client it doesn't really have any good lighting in their house. I use this to basically light up the face for the photos. It's I've had this for years. It obviously, doesn't, it obviously doesn't fit my phone anymore, so I use it as a mini kind of ring light in a way. But this is everything I have packed, I think. Yes, pretty much this is everything I pack as being a makeup artist, honestly. But yeah, you need to be prepared. Like, if any of you guys are watching this and you are starting out as a makeup artist trust me you need to be organized and prepared and you can't forget anything really because if you forgot a mascara say what you're going to use instead or like a lip brush it's just the little things you just got to be organized and i definitely think i do have pretty much all my kit now i do feel very professional with like everything I have got now but yeah but if you guys have enjoyed watching this video please make sure to leave a thumbs up a comment down below and subscribe and I will see you all in my next video bye everybody